City. My name is Leslie and I am so glad that you've joined us. Are you ready to have some fun? We have a great morning lined up for you and I can't wait to get started. Do you know what it means to have peace? In today's Bible story, we're going to learn how God promises to give you peace. To have peace means that you can be calm and not afraid. It means you can be confident and not nervous. We're going to watch a Bible story today where Jesus calms a storm. He helps his friends to have peace even when they were in a really scary situation. And he can give you that peace too. If you feel nervous about something or scared or alone, Jesus can give you peace. Let's ask God to fill us with this peace today. Will you pray with me? Okay, close your eyes. Lord, thank you that you give us peace. Jesus, I pray that you bless each kiddo watching today with your peace. Would you cover them and help them to feel calm and not afraid? Lord, would you remind them when they get in a scary situation that you can give them peace? Would they remember to ask you for peace? Lord, bless them today. Amen. Hi friends, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Michelle and I can't wait to talk with you about God's promises. Did you know that God made us promises? It's true. One promise from God is His promise to give us peace. Peace is that feeling we have when we know things will be okay, even if we feel sad, angry, or scared. But before I tell you more about this promise, I wanna sing a special song with you. It's called, I Believe in Jesus. When we believe in Jesus, we get to know God's promises, and that gives us hope. God loves us so much, and we can trust His promise to give us peace. So let's stand up and sing, I believe in Jesus, as loud as we can. <laughs> this song is called, I Believe in Jesus. We're gonna all start with our hands up like this. You came from heaven, you loved me, you loved me, gave up all you had. You saved me, you saved me Your life was given You loved me, you loved me So I live forever You saved me, you saved me You made a way for me You came to set me free I believe in Jesus Let's 
sing, I will trust. I will trust in Jesus. I'll live to follow him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, hands up like this. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up all you had. You saved me. You saved me. Your life was given. You loved me. You loved me. So I live forever. You saved me. You saved me. You made a way for me. You came to set me free. I believe in Jesus. I believe he came to save. I believe in Jesus Christ. Sing out, I will trust. I will trust in Jesus. I'll live to follow him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, get ready to clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel we hear ya. it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Let me hear you. Say, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe He came to save. I believe in Jesus Christ. I will trust in Jesus. I will trust in Jesus. I'll live to follow Him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, let's clap our hands. Here we go. was great! You can all sit down now. You know, sometimes things can seem overwhelming or out of our control, but when we believe in Jesus, God helps us to have peace. And you know, Jesus told us a story that reminds us of God's promise to give us peace, and it's straight out of this book. Do you know what this book is? It's the Bible! The Bible is God's special book, and in the Bible we can read about Jesus and the amazing things that He did on earth. In today's story, we're gonna see that Jesus and his friends found themselves in a very big and scary storm. And do you think God helped them to have peace? We'll have to find out together. So put on your listening ears and your thinking caps and let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey -o who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. <sighs> and as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, 
Silence. Be still. Suddenly, the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Wow, I think I would have been scared in that storm too. But Jesus was able to calm the storm and the wind and the waves listened to him because Jesus is God's son and he is so powerful. God promises to be in storms with us too. And it's not just in a real storm with rain and thunder, but God promises to give you peace and he promises to be with you your whole life to help you feel better when things seem scary. You know what? That reminds me of our Bible verse. I really want to show you guys, but it's covered in bubbles. <laughs> Can you help me pop the bubbles? Grab some bubbles of your own and let's pop some together. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we got the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh. Pop them over here, pop them over there, pop them on the ground, and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere! Yay! Oop, 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 got them! Good job, you guys. Now we can see our Bible verse, Hebrews 6, 19. It says, this hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. That's a great verse, and it reminds us that God's promises are strong, and we can trust God always. God loves us so much and He has so many promises for us, like the promise to give us peace. So if something seems scary or confusing or we don't like something that's happened, we can have hope and trust God that He will give us the comfort and give us peace. You know, I think we should sing a song to help us remember that verse. So let's stand up and sing Hebrews 6.19. This song is Hebrews 619, and you guys, this is how it goes. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. We're gonna sing that all together, and I wanna hear you guys sing it out. Here we go. This hope is a strong, is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls, anchor for our souls. This hope. Trustworthy anchor for our souls, anchor for our souls. Sing Hebrews 6:19. Hebrews 6:19. All right, it's time to dance. Let me see you guys all dancing. Can you jump up and down? And can you go real low? And then real high? And then let me see you spin around. All right, you guys, we're gonna sing that again. This hope, let me hear you sing it out. This hope is a strong, is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls, anchor for our souls. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. Sing out Hebrews 6, 19. Hebrews 6, 19. All right, it's time to dance. Everyone jumping up and down. Let me see you moving those feet. And let's go ahead and spin around. And let's go the other way. All right, you guys. Great.
great job singing that song. Great singing. You can all sit down now. Remember, that verse tells us that we can trust God and His promise to give us peace. Now, I heard that our friend Winston has more of his superhero comic book called Super Scuppet. It's ready to share with us, and it's going to help us learn more about God's promises. Are you ready to see what will happen in Winston's Super Scuppet comic book story? I know I am. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and check out Super Scuppets! On a cold, dreary day in Scuppeton, Han was working in his lab when it... Hmm... Oh, I got it! When it exploded and gave everyone super power! Thus, the formation of the Super Scuppets, a group of heroes who are committed to fighting for truth Hope and the Scuppetin Way! These are the adventures of the Super Scuppets! The Super Scuppets were gathered in their headquarters when they saw a storm approaching Scuppetin! I estimate that this storm will hit in T minus 23 minutes. How many minutes is that? 23. It's just a storm, what's the big deal? This is not a normal storm. I suspect that it was created by the bad scuppet. So, it could be really, really, really bad? It could take out all of Scuppeton. Well, then we have to do something! I'm out! Hector, come on! Nope! We have to get as many people out of Scuppeton as possible. I've never moved that many things with my mind before, but I'll have to try. You can do it, huh? Uh, but what do we do? You can help me. But then there's the storm, and that's all up to Bestos, or should I say, Commander Jelly Bean. Yay! Um, really? His power's making it rain jelly beans, which is actually really cool. But will it help stop the storm? Yes, you will fly him to the center of the storm, and he'll stop it. Let's go, Crimson Wonder! It's time for Commander Jelly Bean to do some things! Uh, okay. Let's go. Do you know what to do? Nope. Everyone, come out! Please. I think it's time for you to have a plan, Commander Jelly Bean! Plan? Yes, you should know what you're going to do! Okay, Commander Jelly Bean! Time to do something! Let me go! What? You want me to drop you? Yes! Trust me, Crimson Wonders! Okay! You can control the weather, and all you've been doing is making it rain jelly beans? Okay, all done. You can catch me now. Thank you. You're safe to return to your home. The storm is gone thanks to Commander Jellybee! I knew you could do it, brother. Now it's time for me to do something really amazing! These really are pretty good! And that's how Commander Jellybee saved the day from the terrible storm! He brought peace and calm to Scuppeton that day and gave everyone a delicious Jellybean shower! Wow, Winston's story reminded me of our Bible story. Just like how Besto stopped the storm for all of the Scuppetin, Jesus stopped the storm for all the disciples. Jesus loves us so much that He will give us peace when we feel scared or sad too. When we ask Jesus for help, He will comfort us. He will give us peace. And to help us remember that, Gus is going to teach us how to draw a picture of our favorite commander. Who could that be? Hmm. You guessed it! We're going to draw Bestos, also known as Commander Jellybean! So, make sure that you have your paper and your crayons ready, and let's color with Gus! Hey friends, it's Gus! I'm so excited to draw this scuppet with you today! It's Bestos, also known as Commander Jellybean! Okay, let's get started! First. We're gonna make his two eyes. Go to the middle of the page here and make two circles that are touching side by side. 
Now, we're gonna do two little circles inside the big circles. Like this, and color them in. Mm-hmm. Next, let's do his hair. His hair starts on the side of his eyes. So, do a line out on one side of his eye, and another line out on the other side of his eye. Go to the end of one of the lines and do some triangles spiky up and down, up and down, all the way to the other side. Now let's make his chin. Go down here and make a curved line across your paper. And to finish his head, we'll connect his hair to his chin with some side spikies down each side to make his fur. I think he needs a nice big smile. <laughs> then fill him in. There, that's better. Now let's color him in. I'm gonna start with the green because Commander Jellybean has a green face. And I do really like the color green. Color, color, color. Next, I need orange for his hair. There you go! Thanks for coloring with me today, guys! See you next time! <laughs> great job, friends! I'm sure you made a great drawing of Commander Jellybean. Remember, we can trust God's promises to give us peace because He loves us so much. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe you can hang up your picture of Besto somewhere to help you remember what we talked about today. God loves you and will keep His promise to you. God is awesome. And you know what? I want to thank Him for His promise to give me peace. So, let's talk to God right now by praying to Him and thanking Him for His promises. Let's put five fingers here, five fingers there, put them together for a prayer. Let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for giving me peace that I can always rely on you to help me stay calm when my life does not seem good sometimes. You are always so good and you are always so faithful and I thank you that you promise me peace. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, thanks so much for joining us for Church at Home. Don't forget that we have some super fun crafts and activities just for you. Have a parent help you go to saddlebackkids.com to check out the cool things for you to do at home to remember all the things that we talked about today. It was so fun hanging out with you. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.